This is Flora Bank, territory of the nine allied tribes of Lakwalams, the most important wild salmon habitat in the second largest wild salmon run in Canada. Also the proposed location of one of the world's largest liquefied fracked gas export facilities. Pacific Northwest LNG intends to build a Golden Gate sized bridge over Flora Bank as well as a trestle and LNG supertanker berth supported by 464 pilings into the sand of adjacent Agnew Bank. The environmental assessment of this project is almost finished. Over 130 of the most highly respected Canadian and international scientists recently reviewed the draft environmental assessment report and concluded that it was scientifically flawed, contains errors in logic, disregards science that was not funded by the proponent, and represents what is wrong with environmental decision-making in Canada. Among the scientists who made these statements was geologist Patrick McLaren. In a 2016 study, McLaren found that Flora Bank is an incredibly unique sand deposit left over from the last ice age some 10,000 years ago. This formation is held in place by a delicate balance of opposing waves, tide, and river currents. McLaren's study concluded that the LNG trestle and dock tankers will disrupt the incoming ocean currents and waves that hold Flora Bank stable, with a high chance of causing significant erosion and the potential loss of the entire Flora Bank salmon habitat. This research was totally ignored in the environmental assessment. It was not analyzed or discussed. There was no consideration whatsoever of its main prediction, the collapse of an ancient sand formation that is the foundation of cultures, economies, identities, and environment. But the threats don't stop there. During the five-year construction phase, there will be clear-cutting, blasting, and dredging of contaminated sediments. Large support structures and 464 pilings will be hammered into rock by extremely noisy pile driving. Laying the frack gas supply pipeline will also require dredging. When operational, the LNG terminal will create nearly constant underwater noise pollution and noise from the plant itself. Air pollutants which create acid rain such as carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide. Light pollution, challenging juvenile salmon that prefer to migrate in darkness, and possible contamination. Even a small spill of bunker fuel could be devastating to juvenile salmon. Many of these disturbances were not adequately addressed in the environmental assessment. Their cumulative effects are almost totally unknown. It is because of these enormous risks that the Lakolam's people voted unanimously against this LNG project despite a billion dollar offer from Petronas. After this vote was ignored, they occupied their island to protect their fish, their land and their future. Now that the flawed environmental assessment is in the hands of the federal government, it is their opportunity to honor their promises and to stand with the First Nations united against this project, with the scientists who say it poses grave risk to wild salmon and 10,000 years of cultural identity, and with the millions of people fighting climate change and who know that LNG is not a solution. Justin Trudeau, it is time to terminate the Pacific Northwest LNG project once and for all.